Hey everyone, welcome back to another Heavy Metal Diecast video, and this one's for you World War One fans here. It is a uh, Bristol F2B fighter here from a Corgi, of course, N148 scale. This was a two-seat British uh, fighter that was made between uh, 1916 all the way through to 1927, so well after World War One's conclusion, with 5,329 aircraft made. Uh, this particular one was flown by Captain Sidney Dalrymple, who would uh, achieve a status flying this particular plane after he transferred from a Martin side a G100, which he had already achieved a single aerial victory in that. And uh, he would shoot down another four aircraft flying this particular F2B with Gunner 2nd Lieutenant G Beagle after he transferred to 139 Squadron. Uh, 139 Squadron was uh, formed in July of 1918 in Italy and it was actually disbanded at the end of the war in March uh, 1919. Uh, it was actually uh, reformed again prior to World War II in 1936 as a bomber squadron though uh, before being disbanded of course in uh, December of 1959. They were reformed briefly again in 1962 flying the Handley Page Victor B2s uh, before being disbanded once again uh, in 1968. So what we'll do is we will quickly get this Bristol F2B fighter out of the box and have a real good look at it. So here we have the packet out of the box. It does come with its uh, standard collector card. It does have some details on the front. The limited run number of uh, 1300 of these and of course your number in the back and some details of the aircraft uh, if you can read it with or without glasses of course. And uh, we'll get this lid off this packet. I bought this brand new off Amazon uh, for $135 Australian. That was including delivery to me. It does come with the uh, standard stand. If the old sausage fingers can pick it up. Um, the usual, usual deal, of course. And the aircraft in here nicely uh, unbroken. Oh, wow, this one's really easy to get out. That is fan freaking tastic does have a little bit of foam there and it does have a little block on the bottom here we will move this packet out of the way and we can so we can have a little look at the aircraft properly oh well i'll just i'll hold it by that block for for the time being so we can have a little bit of a, a good detailed look at this straight out of the box it you know, looks very nice these corgi world war one aircraft are absolutely stunning uh with with all that rigging uh, this is no different too. Look at all the all the wire bracing there. <laughs> Jesus, my God! Uh, this aircraft was a little bit unusual. Uh, it was called the Charlie Chaplin because it had little Charlie Chaplin sitting on the uh, cowl there. The propeller does spin quite freely. It does have a little bit of a, a wood grain finish to it too, so that's pretty cool. It does have some uh, engine detail a little bit, but uh, we'll try and have a little look down here. Show you some uh, wing details there. Hopefully it is in focus. That's pretty cool. The two pilots, are, well, the pilot and the rear gunner are there. So Sydney and uh, I think it was uh, G Beagle sitting in there. I'm assuming maybe G might be for George. Who knows? It was a pretty common name back back in those days. Got some great de detail on the tail there. We'll have a little closer look at uh, the the rear gunner there, Mr. Beagle. It's got some great detail. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. So, if uh, World War One aircraft are your thing, these are absolutely a killer in one forty eight scale by Corgi. They have uh, really excelled themselves. It is a stunner. That's some detail there. Sydney sitting in the front there. We will uh, we'll turn this over and have a little look underneath. Underneath details are quite nice. So obviously you do have to remove uh, a couple of screws in here to take this block off. But it has got some great detail. These aircraft are amazing. The uh, wheels, they do not turn. Um, so, well, what I'll do is I'll quickly take that little block off so we can see the underneath properly, and we'll be back in one second. So after a quick screw, uh, I mean of the screw here, uh, I did get that little block off, and we can see this aircraft properly without that hindrance covering anything on the bottom. Um, it only pretty much covers uh, where you put the stand in, of course, 
and I reckon the details on this are really killer, as I've said. Um, you will not be disappointed if you can get your hands on one of these. And th this this is reasonably big as well, as you can see. I think this does look really fantastic. Um, I suppose the only thing what we'll do is we'll quickly whack it on the stand for you, of course, um, which is, you know, straightforward process. You just put it in that little hole there and hope that it sticks in. And then we plonk it on the deck here. And that is, as we say, a job done. And there you have it. I'll zoom in a fraction. And that is that. And I reckon this is another fantastic World War I um, aircraft by Corgi, of course. And, uh, yeah, look, if you're into your World War I aircraft, I definitely recommend this one. This is a really nice one. And, you know, sausage finger test. It is a reasonable size, being 148 scale. All right, guys, I'll wind this up. Once again, this was by Corgi. It is the Bristol F-2B fighter that was flown by um, Captain Sidney Dalrymple and uh, the gunner 2nd Lieutenant G Beagle from RAF 139 Squadron, September 1918, and they were based at Italy at the time. And I reckon it's another fine example by Corgi in their World War I series. And uh, yeah, if you uh, do like this at all, hey, throw us a bit of a like as well. And uh, you know, if you yet to subscribe to the channel, feel free to do so as well. I will take some happy snaps of uh, this Bristol F2B and chuck them up at the end of this video as we wind it up right now. All right, guys, thank you so much for spending your valuable time, of course, watching this video. I hope you did get some use out of it. You have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys.